All right, so what's your name? Angel Eyes. Angel Eyes. How old are you? 32. Where are you from originally? Maryville. What's your current situation? Are you homeless? Um, no, actually, I'm just brokenhearted and trying to get the hell away from my ex. You're trying to get what? Trying to get away from my ex. Okay. Because he broke my heart. So you don't live out here on the streets? No. Okay. What are you doing right now? Just hanging out? I'm about to get a lowrider bike for my OG. He built me. Okay. okay. And I don't accept Christmas presents on Christmas Day, so... Yep. So your OG's giving you a lowrider bike for Christmas? Yeah, or? didn't you see it right now? It's purple. It's badass. <laughs> He took us some time on it, it's finally done. So what are you doing out here on these streets? Are you? Uh, I do like uh, heavy rollers, uh, lower the cars and um, the lower the bikes and stuff, you know. Uh, I do decorating, interior designing. Um, I could do like, um, I save people's asses. A lot of right kids now? like, to save a baby from getting hit by a diesel. Are you out here messing with the blues? Uh, not like, and uh, matter, I got cancer, so I'm already prescribed those. Yeah. So it's not like I smoke them. You have cancer? Yeah, yeah, I Sorry got, to hear that. I got like a, I didn't get my stomach scraped. Where? After having babies. Where do you have the cancer at? Pancreatic. Okay. Yeah. How long ago were you diagnosed with that? Um, shoot, a year ago, almost now. Okay. You're not. So, are you getting treatment for that? Are you getting? Uh, yeah. I mean, I'm I'm trying, but I really don't like to go to hospitals. Yeah. Especially like the chemo sucks. It's not fun. Have you been through any of, of that, like chemo? Yeah, yeah. I went to one and I never want to go again. Um, but anyways, yeah, it's sick. It's yeah. like you're throwing up all day after you, you do one appointment. You have family out here in Phoenix? Yeah. Mm -hmm. We're just a broken family right now because my dad got locked up and my mom, she works. Actually, no, she got out of work because she, um, she's just trying to get her mind right right now. You said you grew up in Maryville. How was your childhood growing up? Um, my childhood is, mm, I was the black sheep of the family. My family are all square bears, you could say. Um, but they're all happy. Why do you consider yourself the black sheep of the family? Because I choose to do a whole other level of living from everybody else's. It's not like I was choosing to, it's just, that's how the cards are dealt. What's going on with your face? How come you have, um, like, rashes and stuff like that on them? I don't know. Do I have that rash? I'm not sure. I probably have some makeup or something on it. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, I did a face peel. I forgot it. I just got done doing one. What do you mean? A face peel. Okay. Yeah, I do like beauty and stuff. I like making ugly into beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> What happened to all the people that used to stay around here? Oh the man, area? they just get bored and relocate. Yeah? Mm-hmm. Were you telling me that they had like bed bugs and stuff like that? Yeah, a lot of people do or they just end up getting kicked out because they can't afford it or, you know, a lot of stuff's going down, like poverty. I mean, they had all their tents pitched up right here. Yeah, uh, and a lot of there. the cops are the ones who are taking them. Like, uh, they say Midnight Productions is like snuffing homeless people. It's weird. What's Mid Midnight Productions? I don't know, a bunch of retards. 
They don't like people. I don't know why. You said they're snuffing the homeless? Yeah, that's what it says online. That ain't my business, so uh, I had nothing to do with that. Kind of stuff. I don't even know why they get paid for something like that. That's stupid. But I say leave the children alone. Where were you going right now? Uh, the store. Get something to drink. Do you work? Do you have a job? Yeah. What kind of job do you do? Housekeeping. Housekeeping? You Housekeeping. Or yourself? Myself. Employed. Huh? Self employed. That's good, man. Mm -hmm. You have your own business, huh? Yep. And I care about the poor and the weak. And my eyes, no little one gets left behind, you know. You gotta teach them right from wrong. Or if you don't, they turn up corrupted and they wanna do you dirty. And when you're too old to handle that, they're gonna beat you up if they're brought up wrong. And I'm trying to keep them from doing that. Do you have any kids? Of course. How many kids do you have? A lot. I adopted the whole neighborhood too one time. <laughs> yeah, I didn't want none of my little ones getting shot or in trouble. Where are your kids at now? With family. So what was your name again? My name is Juan. Oh, hi, Juan. Juan, I won. <laughs> I thought the reason I pulled you over was like, or I pulled over was because I thought you were homeless out here. Oh, no, no, no. I thought you told me earlier that you were homeless. No. Uh-uh. I'm in love with someone, and I'm over someone. That's what it is. And I'll never be homeless because I always got somewhere I can go. And I'm loved by a lot of people. That's good. Mm -hmm. I appreciate you sharing your story. Thank you. Are you okay if I post it up on my YouTube channel? Yeah, I'm fine. And just in case anybody wants to help you out, send you any donations or anything, do you have any contact information that you want to share, like an email or anything like that? Uh, yeah. Um, my mother-in-law's number right now because I uh, my phone broke. Video. I was videoing an ugly, ugly dude one night and then the phone dropped and broke and wouldn't turn back on. I was so mad about it. But I need to get another phone. Alright, well, thank you. I appreciate it. You're welcome.